Hello, I'm Edward Tart. This is another in a series of solution videos to some of my math challenges. The challenge for this video is my careless bank teller challenge. And here is what I said to give that challenge in the original video. This bank teller was having an off day. A customer came in with a check to be cashed. The teller gave the customer the check's number of cents as dollars and the check's number of dollars as cents. This gave the customer much less money than he was entitled to. The customer pointed that out to the teller. The teller then made a ridiculous mistake in arithmetic and gave the customer an additional dollar, dime, and penny. That was still not enough. The customer pointed that out to the teller. The teller then got serious and did some careful arithmetic and then gave the customer an additional amount of money which was exactly equal to the amount that he had given the customer thus far. And that made things right. That gave the customer exactly the amount that he was entitled to. So my simple question is, what was the amount on the check in dollars and cents? Here is my solution. I will have D stand for the number of dollars on the check and C the number of cents on the check after the decimal point. And so, the total number of cents on the check is 100D plus C. But we are told the teller gave the number of dollars as cents and the number of cents as dollars. And so the initial amount that the teller gave the customer was not 100D plus C, but 100C plus D. Now we are told that in an attempt to make things right, the teller gave the customer, in addition, a dollar, a dime, and a penny. That's an additional 111 cents. That still wasn't right, so the teller did some careful arithmetic and, as a result, gave the customer an additional amount exactly equal to what he had given so far. And so I have multiplied that amount in parentheses by 2. And we are told that made things right, that that amount actually equals 100D plus C. Distributing the 2 to the expression in parentheses gives us this equation. 200C plus 2D plus 222 equals 100D plus C. I subtract C from both sides, and I subtract 2D from both sides, and I get this equation. 199C plus 222 equals 48D. Now both C and D have to be a whole number less than 100. In this equation, 222 is even, and 98 is even, so 98D is even. That means the first term, 199C, has to be even. Well, 199 is odd, and that means that C has to be even. C has to be a number from the set 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. If I divide both sides of that equation by 98, I get D equals this fraction, 199C plus 222 divided by 98. And that fraction, since it equals D, has to come out to be a whole number. So I took my calculator and I set C equal to 2, put that fraction into my calculator, and I got D to be not a whole number, but a whole number followed by a decimal point and a lot of numerals. That's if C equals 2. 
so C can't be 2. I tried C to be 4, the same thing happened. I got not a whole number, but numbers after a decimal point. I tried C to be 6, then 8, then 10, then 12, then 14, 16, 18, 20, and 22, and the same thing happened. I got D not to be a whole number. But when I put 24 in for C, I got D equals 51. And that suggests that the check could be for $51.24. I wanted to see whether another answer is possible, and so I continued putting consecutive even numbers in for C, 26, 28, 30, 32, and so on, until D became more than 100. And in each case, D was not a whole number. The only case where D is a whole number is when C is 24 and D is 51. Therefore, this must be the answer. The check was written for $51.24. And it is easy to verify this solution. We start with the dollars and cents reversed, 24.51, add a dollar and 11 cents, we get $25.62, multiply that by 2, and we get $51.24. So that is my solution to my careless bank teller challenge. Thank you for watching this solution video.